Hi guys, welcome back to Gracefield Family. It's great to have you with us yeah, today. Absolutely. Today we are talking about a little word that can have a really big impact um, on your family and on for your kids and for you for you personally. And it is the word of boundaries. Now we often don't want to have boundaries. We want to be our own master and feel free and that we can control ourselves. But if push comes to shove, boundaries really help us thrive. And so today's episode, we're exploring how boundaries can help in our family concept to help to build a really strong family and help our kids to thrive. Absolutely, see you in there. All right, let's start off with a bit of a story. And I remember a time very early on in my teaching career, I was just about to take on a class of year nine students and the principal comes to me right at the start of the year and says, hey, by the way, I have to tell you about this kid that's new to the school and coming into your class. He said, he's a kid from a like trauma background. He like struggled at his old school heaps. He like would destroy the classroom almost every other day and uh, get really angry, rah, rah, rah. Um, good luck. Yeah, that was two minutes before the class started. So I had two <laughs> minutes to sort of get my thoughts together. And I remember feeling, you know what? I need to set no different boundaries for him than I do for any other kid in my class. And I just have to play this out and see what happens, right? So I just treated him like every other kid. Uh, the, the, the scene was set, the rules were talked through like the start of the year, get everyone going. Week in, not an issue. He's actually quite a nice kid. Week two, still no issue, still a nice kid. Building relationship, you know, getting to know him more and more. Week three, still no issue. Uh, and it sort of got to the point where I was like, hey man, I heard you were like not going so well at your old school. Like you'd have some angry behaviors and, and all that sort of stuff. And he looked at me and goes, yeah, I was in a special school and uh, no one ever said I couldn't do that stuff. And yeah, it was funny. He's like, and so I just figured I would. And like I'd do it and no one would say anything. And so, all right, the next day, I'll have some fun and do it again. I was bored, I'm not special. He clearly wasn't special. I don't know how he ended up in this, this wow. special class. But um, his, his big thing was, you have expected me to act the way that I've acted. You've pulled me in when I haven't. And basically the boundaries are what has dictated my behavior and what I'm able to do. And this kid went on to, to thrive after that, um, not just from me, but you know, loving family and, and support around him and those boundaries around him that didn't just say, do whatever you want um, mm. that in that situation. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, today we wanted to talk about boundaries and that story just shows the importance of boundaries. And boundaries actually have two purposes. So boundaries, keep us in the confines of safety, but they also can keep dangers out. And if you think of a chicken coop, the coop keeps the chickens in, but it also keeps the foxes out. You take down the coop, you have dead chickens and a happy fox. Yeah, and so often like us or our kids, we, we wanna take the boundaries off, but they can lead to unsafe environments. Yeah. Things getting into our families that we don't want in yeah. our families, uh, and also, us getting out into places that we shouldn't be. Like yeah. a front door, for example. You know, a front door gets left open and a, and a child or a young child gets out the front yard. We're opening them up to perhaps getting hit by a car yeah. um, or, or something along those lines that, that's unsafe. So the boundaries um, keep us safe inside, but also yeah, keep us from the dangers of the outside. Yeah, they also help establish limits and guidelines that, yeah, pre prevent them from engaging those risky behaviors as well. And so it gives that it gives that consistent safety measure, I guess. And it can also create consistency mm. for our kids. And that's really important for our kids to have emotional safety. Um, and it keeps them, they know, they know what they can and what they can't do. And so they are then able to more effectively manage, I guess, those and regulate their own emotions within that safe boundary. And if we start with that at home, then it can then really lead into the outside world. Absolutely, this is your family, yeah. right? This is your responsibility. Your, your job is to look after them, to keep them safe mm. and help your children to grow up in a way that is, is like nurturing to who they are. And yeah. so that they can become um, all, all that they are destined to become. And so boundaries are so important to give that safety in that area for your kids. 
Yeah, and they can also help our kids learn right and wrong. And it's actually something we need to teach our kids, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. What is right, what is wrong, and when they can do that within the safety of your home environment, then they learn that to be able to know what's right and wrong in the world as well. But it's a really important way of actually developmentally helping our children using boundaries for them to do that. And Absolutely. it's not boundaries that rest, um, like um, controlling. controlling. It's not about controlling, it's about safety. Yeah, it's about yeah. safety and it's giving them freedom within the guidelines. Yeah, you can never control another person. No. Okay, you can correct and you can keep safe, but not necessarily control. And so uh, it's important to remember that, that boundaries are to keep you, your kids and yourselves safe rather than control. Yeah. Um, and we find that our boundaries, we find it easy to set because of our values. Mm. Like our values dictate a lot of what our boundaries are in our, our home. So we don't watch these types of movies because they're not kind. Um, they're not safe, you know. They're, uh, they're, they're against what we value as a family or mm. um, we don't go to those types of places because we value being a team, you know. We don't just take our... Um, kids to a restaurant and shove them in a corner where they're, they're, they're silent and not seen because that's not a team mentality. That's not how we go. And so we use our, va our values yeah. um, to really dictate how our boundaries look at home and mm. how they look when we're, we're not at home. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys um, have articulated your values in your house. Um, every family they or every person, they use values that you have a set of value systems whether you know it or whether you don't and so it is important to articulate that within your families and so that you can be a team and your kids know and you guys know and you're working together for the same you're going in the same direction um, and if you need help to write those values um, head across to our website and sign up for the free five-day guide which will help you um, there's a part in there about your family values that you can help you to articulate them and so don't forget to go to www.gracefieldfamilies.com to pick up that free guide yeah also in that guide there's a day on marriage as well that talks about marriage and how uh how that works but also looking after yourself so yeah. allowing space for you to personally um get out and experience that freedom yeah. uh within within the the boundaries that a family uh puts on you as well um yeah. Yeah, so it's important to realise that when you put boundaries in, okay, you, particularly to your children, you're not always going to be popular. No. Um, I love the old modern family where uh, the dad like does parenting. He's like, I'm the cool dad, I'm hip, I parent, <laughs> and basically sort of, uh, it's a mockery of, of parents who just sort of <laughs> let their kids be free uh, and, and do that. No, kids need boundaries and you mm. will not always be popular you won't always be a parent when you uphold your values with your kids uh, and it's important because you know what's best for their safety yeah it's important to sometimes forego popularity uh, and to maybe have that hard conversation or a few days where your kid mm. really doesn't like your decision or like you for making it um, for the sake of keeping them safe in their environment yeah that's our job as parents isn't it yeah yeah and, and parenting isn't easy and you're here because you care obviously mm. about your parenting and caring about parenting is even harder harder <laughs> yeah. it's nowhere near as easy so yeah. well done you, you've chosen a road of intentionality with with being a parent and we appreciate that mm. and I guess just because you've got boundaries in there doesn't mean that the kids always stick to them no <laughs> Um, our kids don't always stick to the boundaries and that's part of human nature because we want to be free we want to do our own thing but then if we actually step outside of that boundary that's when the problems come as we were saying before like you drop that fence for the chickens and they the fox comes to get them it's the same thing with our kids they need to actually learn learn sometimes actually stepping over the boundary what that actually means and what consequences natural consequences that actually actually has on them and so as parents we need to be careful how we react when they don't stick to the boundaries and mm. here we are in gracefield families we are all about grace grace from god grace for each other and grace for ourselves and so we need to actually be as parents intentional about when they break those boundaries our kids then we can be gracious about how we react um, and to not react but to respond. And so don't forget 
grace is the key. Yeah, absolutely. And and we want to react when our kids stuff up out of yeah. grace, compassion, and love. Yeah, yeah. because uh, because that's what God calls us to. Yeah. And that's how we restore connection and restore relationship. Mm. If we're trying to control our kids, we won't respond in that way. But yeah. if we're trying to guide them and discipline and discipleship them, ship them, then that's the way we need to go. Mm. So a challenge for you this week as we finish up. Think about your parenting. Have a chat. Think about your home, the way it's managed and what's going on in it. What boundaries do you have that are awesome? Yeah. Okay. What boundaries may you need to put in or to tweak in order to keep the safety going? Um, and uh, what ways do you want to use values to serve your family in the way that you're mm. growing and, and your boundaries that are there? Absolutely. And I think um, Steve really hit a key point that it's not that we can just like boundaries we set and forget. We often need to revisit them. We need to um, tweak them. We might need to change them or um, come with a different angle sometimes. It's really important to keep assessing that. And um, as you keep working on that in your home, that might show you more values that you might need to work on and you want to keep in your family. So good luck. Enjoy this week. Don't forget to grab the five day insight guide from our website to help you with all of this. Um, And yeah, enjoy your week and uh, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.